Algorand fundamentals continue to improve. In this video, we will break down some recent pieces of Algorand news and we will end with some technical analysis and price targets. In my opinion, January can look pretty good for Algo. So stick around to the end of the video to get my price targets. If you enjoy the content, smash that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing. Now, without further hesitation, here is your Algorand news. First in the news, Algorand managed to do a whopping 14,000 transactions per second. Algorand processed 51,895 transactions in block 25808869 with an average block time of 3.7 seconds. This equates to roughly 14,025 transactions per second. Now I know I just lost you in the math, however, as we have covered in this channel back in Q4 of 2022, the Algorand protocol had an upgrade that included, among other things, an increase to 6,000 transactions per second. The next upgrade is slated for sometime early this year and was purported to bring the blockchain from 6,000 TPS to 10,000 TPS. But with this recent transaction load test, the Algorand team may be gearing up to release a protocol upgrade that allows Algorand to process over 14,000 transactions a second, regularly. For context, Visa can process upwards of 24,000 transactions a second. However, in reality, they process two to 6,000 transactions per second, and those transactions can take one to two days to finalize whereas Algorand transactions are immediately final. We are looking forward to where 2023 and beyond brings the Algorand protocol as many upgrades are still in store. On to other news, Algorand governance period five has just closed and period six has officially opened up. Potential Algo governors have until January 15th to commit their Algos or LP tokens for period six for governance. Also, if you'd like to use any of the DeFi governance tools, such as Guard or Folks Finance, check out my referral links in the video description down below. Period 5 had five voting proposals and the community voted to allocate 15 million algos to DeFi applications on Algorand to grow DeFi liquidity. Now they also voted overwhelmingly to allocate 2 million algos to a community funding pilot program via the XGov process, with about 92% of algos voting for this measure. The community also voted to approve the creation of a community curated NFT collection and voted to allocate 300,000 algos to be used to buy community NFTs for said collection. In my view, these are all great developments. The DeFi ecosystem continues to need support throughout the bear market, and the Algorand Foundation recognizing the power of the NFT communities and putting forth a vote to help support them is encouraging. Now speaking of NFTs, next in the news is another great development for the Algorand NFT ecosystem. CryptoSlam, a multi-chain NFT data aggregator, has recently announced an integration with the Algorand NFT ecosystem, increasing the visibility of Algorand NFTs. Now, CryptoSlam is backed by big names such as Mark Cuban, Ashton Kutcher, Polygon, and more. The Algorand NFT scene has continued to have impressive growth over the last year, and this is a continued step in the right direction. Now, lastly, I promised some technical analysis and price targets. The ALGO token currently sits around 18 cents at the time of recording, and as you can see here, Algorand has formed bullish divergences on both the weekly MACD and the weekly RSI, and both indicators are trending in the right direction. Daily indicators look really strong with ALGO pumping out of this falling wedge, the daily MACD has crossed bullish, and the daily RSI is back in its channel, trending up with a ways to go. The 4-hour RSI does look overbought, so a brief cool-off may be in order, but longer-term indicators look strong. My eyes are on the 21 to 23 cent price levels. If those break, the next levels to watch would be around 27 to 28 cents. And after that, we are looking for the 40 to 41 cent price levels. Now keep in mind, none of this is financial advice, and these targets could take a few weeks to play out. However, for full disclosure, I am a buyer at these levels. It should also be noted that the market sentiment is still pretty terrible and the fallout from FTX hasn't been complete yet. 
So although technical analysis is telling me that things are a bit bullish for the Algorand token, there very well could be a black swan event that changes that in an instant. So be careful out there, don't ape in, don't overuse leverage, not financial advice of course, but be safe, be careful, these are my opinions, and that is it for my Algorand update. If you enjoyed the content, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, check out the video description for referral links to great Algorand applications like Lofty AI for real estate investments, for Guard and Folks Finance for DeFi, and a slew of other exchanges. On that note, I appreciate all that watched to the end of this video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Thanks.